Okay, so now what we're going to do is work on the, the outside, the tensor fascia lot of the TFL on the outside. Is I'm looking for the strength and weaknesses as I do a little kinesiology work here. As he holds this strong and I compress, he loses power. So what I'm looking for is an area. He holds the leg here strongly. Hold this strong. I'm looking for an area there that strengthens it. So I hold it, I compress it. I hold the compression until the leg releases again. What I'm looking for is the strength to return back to the leg. Hold it strong, and there he is, a good strong leg. This is working on the fascial areas of the body. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I'm looking at the fascial area, tensor fascial lot of muscle, hold it strong, and both sides are weak on it. So we're gonna do the other one. As he holds the leg out, and I know it's weak, I'm gonna find the area when I compress it, that it holds some strength to it. And there he is, hold this a little stronger now, there you go. I'm gonna hold the spot, and this is the fascial area, until the leg releases. There it goes. So when you retest these muscles, you'll find, hold the strong, he's got a strong leg. This is what the percussor is so wonderful at doing, is, is getting those fascial areas to release. Now the other areas that's so important for athletes is, so is minor and major. Hold this up for me, strong here, and hold this out here strong. And notice he has no power here. So we're gonna find out where we can work with the psoas muscle to get the strength to return. As he holds up the leg, hold it strong. We're gonna go relax your belly a little bit there. I'm gonna go deep in his belly here and hold the compression. Now tighten the leg again up here to hold the leg strong. And I'm waiting for that muscle again to release. There it goes. So when that happens, it doesn't always happen the first time, maybe you need a couple, hold it strong. Okay, we got some good strength back to the leg though. That's one spot, there's several spots you could do this on. So we're looking for the psoas minor, hold it strong. Okay, he loses power there, hold it strong. And he definitely has no power there. So we're just gonna do the first one, hold strong here, this is the minor, and we're just gonna hold it on his body, and the body's gonna tell us where the spot is by giving us some strength, there it is. So I'm gonna compress down, slightly up. And there it goes. I'm gonna go to a service major, hold this strong with me. There. Going deep in the body here, Kind of pushing the intestines over a little bit in the belly. You hold it as a deep spot as he gives me some power here. And here he doesn't have a lot of power, so I'm looking for just the muscle to release again like this. Okay, hold it strong. Okay, he's got some power, but not as much as I like it, but he's got some power back in the leg now. So we're gonna go up to the diaphragm. right inside the rib cage here. Hold the strong thing. I'm gonna compress right in with the percussor, but the diaphragm gets tight as well. Now hold the strong, hold the strong. Okay, he's got some power, still something else is missing. Now one key point is you're looking at the muscle here, but sometimes we gotta look across the body and look to the other side of the body, which is usually the SCM muscle. So I'm gonna take this, the percussor, roll his head up slightly, and this go to where the tendons insert and compress the tendon and the fascia with areas at the same time. And I'm gonna go to the very bottom area. So these are origin insertion areas you're going to. Remember, we're working towards turning on the psoas. So he went to the opposite side of the body. Hold the strong thing, and there it goes, back up. Real strong thing, okay? Not full power, but at least we've got some certain areas to work on, so it gives us a good base of where we're turning strength back on. Now, other key areas are here. As he holds strength here, 
He's got strong muscle there. This is the peg minor. Some call it peg clavicle. Totally strong. And you'll see some loose loss of strength here. So we're letting him hold the muscle strong, give a contraction. We're going right into the pec clavicle area, compressing, holding, and he gives me strength at the same time. He's looking for a release, just like that. Hold strong. And there is full strength as we turn back. We're just going to recheck the other side to make sure. Hold it strong. Good. Now the other areas are the pec major or pec sternal, some will call it. So as he gives me some compression here, just the pressure of my hand, the pressure of my hand. Good, that's strong. Let's do the other side here, strong. Okay, good. So those are working fine. So the last test for this area is I'm going to test the cervical regions, the SCM muscles, sternocleidal mastoids. Hold this up for me. Strong. He's got power here. He turns it. Hold me strong here. And he loses power here. So we're going to work on the other side of the neck. Once again, origin and insertion areas of the neck. Anyway, some people are very sensitive to this area, so when you add compression, just go at the, at the tolerance where that patient is. So you're working on the tendon and, of course, the fascial area. his head up and he turns it, hold it strong, and he's got strength again. Okay. This is quite simple to do, and even beginners starting releasing the major areas, the joints first, and then as your, your kinesiology gets a little better for you, start testing the muscles and finding out where the muscles are weak, and working with the fascial areas, and you'll have all the, the joints, basically the major muscle groups, all coming back in action, it will give you a strong core, and gives the athlete back the advantage of sports again, using his whole core to do his activity. And that's working with the percussive today, working with fascia. And I'm Dr. Patrick Price, and tune in next time.